killer out there. Beware, beware, there's a killer dog out there. The public are advised to stay well clear of a dog wanted in connection with a murder last year. His name is Rufus. He's gone on the run. He's age seven in dog years and height two foot one. He wears a brown coat with patches of grey. Have you seen Rufus? Call 99 right away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rufus, you can't catch me. I'm Rufus, you can't catch me. This is Rufus. <laughs> I should bring a spaniel. But I'm frightened of dogs in need of a manual. So I've often drawn Rufus to understand better. But I don't share the bond he and my partner Alex have together. Now you might think I'm silly and I'm being pedantic. But sharing bedsheets with Rufus, well it's hardly romantic. <laughs> be jealousy free, come out of the fog. Don't play second fiddle when it comes to a dog. You can joke with your partner, it's the doggy or me. But when they stumble to answer, it's a marriage of three. <laughs> what if I dressed up as Rufus, complete with dog collar, and speak doggy voice and star in a horror. Everyone to the slaughter, beware of his paws. Deep in the water, Rufus is Jaws. Yes, midsummer murders, more Hitchcock thriller. Who controls who, and who is the killer? Is it all fiction, this whodunit of mine, or is there some truth in who does the crime? He's got murder in mind, just look at those eyes. They might be all sweetness, but they're sugar and lies. Delicious, delicious, doggy delicious, but sweet baby Rufus can sometimes Sometimes be vicious. He's one of the family, man's best friend, but in the dark of his kennel, he's plotting your end. This might sound dramatic, can this get any absurder? But that bone that you give him is a weapon of murder. Not death by the ways that you've read in crime fiction, but the kind the most gruesome by doggy infliction. 1101 on CCTV. The car was caught speeding down the A23. A witness told police, although seen from afar, they spotted a dog at the wheel of the car. 12.04am <laughs> in a sleepy cul-de-sac. He parts outside 16 and he sneaks round the back. 12.04am, barking and screaming, Rufus, he's got a gun, claims the neighbour. <laughs> but I could have been dreaming. All of a sudden, in the dead of night, screams of Rufus, have mercy, gave me one hell of a fright. <laughs> with my torch and my golf club, I entered next door, shivering with terror from the full horror in store. Overcome from the sting of that sinking feeling When you see someone's blood dripping down from the up above ceiling Upstairs in the bathroom, stone cold in the shower Lay a body in its final hour Drowning in blood in its own red liquor Who could do such a thing? Who could get any sicker? It's clear who's the killer Just look on the floor Trace of brown dog hair and the print of a paw <laughs> This dog is not just for Christmas, but for life is the measure. He's gonna get life for sure, behind bars, at his majesty's pleasure. <laughs> Phoning the old bill to share what she'd seen, middle-aged calf from Camberwell Green. <laughs> oh yes, hello constable, how do you do? I have some vital information of much interest to you. Two weeks ago, a man dressed the man in his forties came into my fancy dress shop wearing black adidas trainers and blue hoodie top. 
Thinking back, it was strange now how in the shop with Toy Bone, he began pointing it and shooting it like he was Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> he said, I'm looking for a dog suit that will fully camouflage me. Why, certainly so. What size? I replied. He answered, oh, size, extra large me. I showed him the full range of our man-sized dog suit selection. Only Welsh bring a spaniel, he said in his quest for perfection. When I jokingly said we'll throw in that toy bone, his response both alarmed me, content and tone. A lead would be better, he said, perfect to strangle a man, made of razor-sharp leather. Do you think you can? I took his reply as the words of a joker, but when I heard the news later, all my stomach churned over and over. David Lynch would flinch at the full extent of my error. The terror all consumed me like an attack of the jitters. Now, you might think I'm stupid and might sound delirious, but could you really take serious a man dressed in a dog suit from canine costume outfitters? It's surprising to hear that those involved are queer. I thought they all lived in the city and not around here. I guess for the gays, it's the same same as us straight. When your dogs are your family, they're more than playmates. I think for that Rufus, he became saturated. Too much love he was given, the bleed Orpheus stated. It's so sad in a way that it came to this end. You've got a friend in me, goes the song, but this dog was more than a friend. R for revenge, U for unkind, F for fanatic, U underlined, S is the sentence Rufus has started, serving for murdering the dearly departed, those capital letters together, what do you get? R-U-F-U-S spells Rufus, are your palms starting to sweat? <laughs> <laughs>